Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our national officials for this match. First referee, Bobby Celso. Second referee is Mike Santos. <laughs> and now let's meet the starters. First, for the Signal HT Spikers. Outside Spiker number seven, team captain, Cesc Molina. Outside Spiker number one, Chai Trumcoso. Middle blocker number two, Rose Doria. Middle blocker number 18, Riri Meneses. Opposite hitter number 21, Jovelin Gonzaga. Center number 22, Jel Cayuna. Starting the battle, number 16, Don Catendig. Head coach for Signal is Shaq De Los Santos. And now the starters for the Cherry Tickle Cross Overs. Middle blocker, number two, team captain, Abby Marano. Outside spiker number eight, Aya Laure. Opposite hitter number 10, Ara Galan. Center number 11, Alina Picard. Middle blocker number 16, Zach Galandang. Outside spiker number 23, Shaya Adorador. Starting libero number 19, Jen Nierva. Head coach for Chevy Tico is Emilio Kung Fu Reyes. This match is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is Signal versus Chevy Tico. This is the PBL. All right, here the we go. Heart. The Signal HD Spikers, the noticeable absent player from the starting lineup will be Danny Gandler. Chai Troncoso will take over that. Um, we were here at the Field Sports Arena. During their, the, one of the games, as we look at the starters of uh, Cherry Tigo, and obviously Alina Bikar has already taken over the starting setter position there. The game between Creamline and Signal, that was a very physical game for Signal. A couple of players experiencing cramps, uh, including uh, Ces Molina, uh, in, especially in that third set when they were trying to finish off Creamline already. And then Vanny Gander also uh, experiencing some leg problems. And uh, obviously they lost that game in a, in a grueling five-set duel, which uh, I'm sure they still carry heavily right now. Um, but what are they going to miss with Vanny Gantler? And we wish Vanny Gantler to be 100% healthy because she has been on the rise the last two conferences, Jamie. But right now, obviously, it's, uh, it's, there is a physical issue. Okay, it's unfortunate that Vanny Gantler is not playing. She's a lethal weapon, not only in the scoring department, as she's constantly targeted in service. We see improvement in her digging and her reception. So she's very much needed in today's match. But yes, we hope all things are good for Vanny Gantler. Yeah, of course, the coaches, the management, I'm sure looking out for her and her long-term career because they you know that's how it is the health is a priority in the meantime they will have to do 
with their current setup as we are tied at one all here. There's a lot of red here in, uh, in both teams. <laughs> Nerva, jump set to Galang, sent back. Nerva will send it to Karandang in the middle. The overcooked hit from Sa Karandang gives uh, the AC Spikers their second point. Let's go back to Sam Corrales right now, Sam. Now coming into this game, Jelka Yuna told me that there has been a lot of adjustments on her end with the Signal HD Spikers. Habang tumatagal ang conference, mas nababasa na daw talaga ang mga plays nila. Kaya naman, they had to adjust their defensive pattern. And for today's match against Cherry, Coach Shaq wants to see more plays in the middle or their quickers. Kailangan din daw nila ng panapos. And that will boil down to making sure they are all ready no matter who is put in the court. Now, no matter where you are in the world, you can catch the PVL on Filipinas Live anytime you want for only 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Boom and Jamie. Thank you very much, Sam. Coach Shaq, who sits side by side with Coach Kung Fu in the UST uh, coaching staff. And that was just yesterday yes. <laughs> uh, when they won um, in four sets. And today they are on the opposite ends of the net. You know, Boom, we have to keep in mind that Cherry Teagle has not had a game in 15 days, whereas Signal has played last week against the Farm Fresh Foxy. So it's, there's a lot of pros and cons when it comes to having rest, and also it could lead to players maybe overthinking, but also mental freshness as well as more sleep during those times. So that's a huge factor we have to consider. Mm, very good point. What has changed with Jerry from that, you know, Sam was talking about it earlier, that farm fresh matchup where they were swept and then they come back and then, uh, you know, sweep uh, or beat Creamline. Uh, and then, like, tuli tuli itong right. Cherry. Ooh, what changed in your eyes? After the match against uh, the Farm Fresh Foxes, well, from what I saw, Chung Abi really grouped them together. I think Chung Abi knew that they needed more team bonding outside mm. of the court because those are the small minute details that change when it comes to the game and you can see that they're much better and more tightly knit. Speaking of much better as we give you a spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan, Jovelin Gonzaga as my partner mentioned in pregame. She has been on fire. They're going back to that cream line match. They wouldn't be even close to the five sets there without Jovelin Gonzaga really Carry that team when everybody was already ailing and grinding. What a, what a conference for Jove, and she looks great healthy, too. Look yes. healthy and fit. And there she is. Over received because of a good serve of Joe Gonzaga and a quick start here. 6 3 for the HD Spikers. Well, the Cherry Tigo cross server overs need to keep in mind as well that Jelka Yuna is currently the number one setter in the league. She will be very crafty when it comes to the offense. Yep. She constantly sets Rosen Doria, who I believe is one of the most underrated middle blockers here in the league. So they have to be very scrappy in their defense, talking about Cherry Tigo. Rosen Doria is just a so joy to watch. She is, you, 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 you use the perfect word, underrated, over, overlooked a lot of times, and she just kills you. Nothing too flashy, just yep. does her job. 7-3, slow start. But then again, that is Cherry Tigo. They are known for slow starts. Unfortunately. Yeah. 4-7 is our score. Also going for that cross-court attack. Sails outside. There's Rani Gamble on your screens. Must be killing her. Itching to play. Yeah, not to be able to start. As Menezes scores in the middle. Interesting, Ada Galang is giving the ball to Zon for receive, which is ironic because she's one of the best in the conference. 8-4 is their score.
plus Astig sa sports. 8-4 is our score. And a quick start by Coach Shaq. We forget that, uh, of course, they're almost uh, midway. And we're going into the semifinals now. And the additions like Aragala, and Abby Marano, Don Makandili, yes. you know, have, uh, uh, who are obviously former teammates, all have integrated themselves very well into their teams. Na nakalimutan na nga natin that they're like they're new recruits, you know. <laughs> well done. She's really stabilizing their the back row right. here. Shia, oh no coverage. No, nobody behind there. The block of Rhea Menezes was high enough that the Jantigo yes. crossovers should have easily done that. Very, very slow, very high. Some hesitation we see of Cherry Tigo. Again, if you follow Cherry Tigo long enough, you know that they've had a lot of games where they just have a slow start. I think it was Z or Vasho. As we see Chai Tromposo, we have an ace here. I'll tell you the uh, the kind of uh, joke later. <laughs> okay, after the <laughs> after, break. <laughs> after this commercial, uh, after this timeout. <laughs> May block. Ang problema, andito yung coverage natin. Andiyan, no? Kaya lang ba? Ang kilap. Sinag sa inyo, no? Sinag duro sa inyo yan. Ang ganitong pattern. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, wala kayo dun sa sitwasyon. Wala kayo sa tamang galaw. Hindi kami mag-ano dyan. Hindi kami ang gagalaw para sa inyo. Kayo. Bakit? Nakaredy na kasi tayo dyan. Di ba? Bakit iniiba nyo kung anong iniinsahin natin pagdating sa aktual? So, ang problema, siguro yung mindset natin. Or tara, gising tayo! Mindset! Bago mindset! Okay. Yeah. Uh, we did say, uh, partner, that these two coaches, they have a knack for these timeouts, uh, the things that they say, as you yes. see. Team Akari with the, the win earlier. Coach Shaq and Coach uh, Kung Fu, they have uh, you know, a knack of saying things and the timing of their timeouts. And you did say that in-game adjustments are going to be very important. Very crucial, yes. Yeah, for these two coaches, for these two teams. So good timeout to ice Chai Troposo after her ace. See the Cherry Tigo crossovers having a slow start here in this first set. I did mention this earlier, Boom. They have not played a game in two weeks. That is also a factor. But I want to highlight what Coach Kung Fu was saying in the huddle about taking action. Have a new mindset. Yes, new mindset. And actually, new player na nga. Yes. <laughs> Coach Kung Fu of... shouting at the bench, telling <laughs> the elder Laure to come in. Shaya will sit down first. Coach Kung Fu still on her. Mindset, take action, six-point deficit. But you got to give credit to uh, Signal. Of course. Because they're the ones who really are doing well here as Alina Bikar. They're going to call a challenge. Alina Bikar setting the ball over in the zone five corner pocket. On the second ball, no? Yes. She saw an opening at the corner. She saw Don Makandili wasn't on the floor. Smart because Ria Menezes yeah. was surfing. The taller, tallest player for, uh, well, right now on court. So she figured, you know, I send it back. Smart. Ball in. I think it was. I thought it was at least when I saw it land. And That's it inside. Yeah. Good call by Coach Smart play by Smart play by Alina. That's another thing. I'm, you know, if you're a Cherry Tiga fan, you're also happy to see Alina Bikar healthy. Yes. And what She's I, been battling a lot of injuries too. Especially last year, and I love how her strategy, she constantly sets the middle blockers, and that's what I love about her strategy. Combination play! Hello, Ses Marina! We haven't talked about you since the game started. Now in the front row, very reliable, coming from the left pin. Also, the set of Jalkina is much faster, boom. It's almost like a shoot set, beating the block of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Jelka Yuna maximizing on that because Alina Bikar is in the front. Welcome to the game. <laughs> Karandang is blocked. They'll set Ea. He's sent, he's sent back by a double block. Joe and Rose collaborating. And this is now the biggest lead right now. Gonzaga, by the way, with three points already. And I did mention this in the pregame. Ea Laura is 
examined closely by the block of the signal HD spikers. So she has to find some way to tool the block or avoid their hands. Mm. That was going outside. I thought so too, but rare that you question the Don Makadili. Wanted to keep it on play. Very reactive, I would say, in that sequence. But kind of down going down the line on that running attack. 7-13. Biggest lead is seven. Doria sent back by Vicar on the reaction. Katinding. Gonzaga waiting. Nierva with a pop. Ea. And she totally made that adjustment. She knew there was a double block. Yes. I mean, smart play coming from Ea Lara. She knew that Jovelin Gonzaga was there. Smart play. Nothing too fancy. Just touching her left arm in that sequence. Chance here for Cherry. Set. Galam. Yes. It's a good set from Alina Bikar. A reverse set. Looked like she was going to the open, but last second going for Aragalang in the right pin. First point for Ara. Eight point average here in the conference. Another girl who has really come back to health. Yes. After a myriad of, of, of injuries. Chance here for signal. It's too tight. Yep. But there's a touch. Lucky point, the set of Delta unit was a bit too tight for Cess Molina, but she was able to make a way touching the block. Of course of, she does. Yes, the vet. <laughs> the vet. Cess Down to five, no. High of seven. Mm. Drops out. Laura will serve. They serve. Targeting Molina. Tough angle. The car with a bump set. That will drop in. That is classic EJ Laura. Vintage, if I may use the word. Sauce on the cross. Look at this. Targeting that cross, that quarter pocket, and fooling Dawn in that sequence. Lead us down to three from a high of seven. Okay. That's a good point, Jamie, for uh, Signal. Parang bumaba yung energy nga nila, no? You can't um, be too complacent. There's no safety here in the PBL where we see Cherry Tigo slowly waking up after adding new adjustments here on the court. But, I mean, especially at this point of the conference, you really have to play your best. You really have to understand the importance of each point. Again, Molina being targeted by Laure. Pop. Nerva keeps it in play. EJ will send it over for a free ball. HD Spikers. Pumatong kay Gonzaga. Bumalik ang bola. Oh, what a set by Kayuna. Ara, Hi. that's too close. Oh, but it is Troncoso who actually touched the net. I thought Ara was going to touch the net for sure. But now Molina yata si Chai. Yes, she was going down to block. There. The net. And then Ara. And you would think Ara would touch the net yeah. because the set was tight. These are the unforced errors that need to be avoided. Better received there by Sess. Yeah, perfect pass to Bikar. <laughs> oh, what a dig by Kayuda. Bikar. Sagitna! <laughs> Karanda unleashes! And they're down by one! The Cherry Tiga crossovers are back. Alina Bikar. Take a look at this replay. 
Take a look at the hole in between that block with Thrown Kosa. This is what I was saying, Boom. Alina Bikar will maximize her middle blockers yeah. early on in the match. That's why I think that she has been the crucial one yes. in this run also. The key. Of Cherry, yeah. Since the Farm Fresh loss, they've been really searching for, you know, a stable center. And unfortunately, you know, Kakande and Dibanabor, they could not get their self, themselves going. But Picar was so used to Coach Kung Fu, by the way, obviously. We all know this. Yeah. Has really stabilized them. But what a reply by Signal there for 15-13 after a 7-1 run by Cherry. EJ on a bump pass from the other side by Alina. Not the easiest of attacks. How tough was that? How tough was that set? I mean, talk about efficiency on that set and fundamentals, I would say, coming from Alina Bikar. We have the Sakura Dung fans club right behind us. You could hear them screaming. <laughs> Chance for Cherry here. They're only down one. Nice set. Very high set. You know, problema, dahil mataas, Jamie. The blocker's already there. Yeah. Blocker's had a lot of time to cover Aragala. 16 14 signal. Some live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signaltv slash switch for more details. Zier Vasho, of course, our colleague and uh, head of uh, the volleyball program now at the FPU, Miko Halili, our head of sports and content on Signal TV, and the newly engaged yes. Jacob <laughs> Chego Dario, <laughs> our good buddy, who, by the way, is not really here for Sam Corrales. Yeah. I'm telling you. He is, he is here because he has really fallen in love <laughs> with volleyball. Trust me, we've had conversations. So he is a he is a diehard volleyball <laughs> fan, diehard PBS fan. He's here for the volleyball yes. action. Fiance. Yes. It's in the meantime, what a great rejection there. Oh, awesome. Very good set. Take a look at the blocking yeah, of yeah, yeah. Abby Maraño and Aragala, perfect positioning on the uh, on the left pin. They've been doing it together for quite a while. Yes. Now here comes Mylene Pat, who is now 15, 16, player 16, off the bench for Coach Kung Fu. Jasmine Abor will set for Maranio Paat and the older Laure. Mm. Oh, the push. A chance to tie here. Reverse to Mylene. Bumalik ang bola. Oh, quick reply. <laughs> quick reply. Very reactive on the side of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. They're much more alive at this part in this first set. We talk about teamwork here. The coverage, Mylene Pad getting her own coverage. Abi Maranio, DJ Laure tooling the block of Signal. And fooling. Yes. <laughs> now we have Vanny Gander. Vanny Gander off the bench. Much needed. Much needed. Nerva with the with the save there. Pile up on line three. Then Molina takes advantage. Boy, Molina when she gets wow. going. Oh, holy moly. Now back row attack. The power. The elevation. 
coming from the veteran Cesc Molina. Yeah. This is what they need. Luke. Then look at her, her head. Out. You see her head when she when she kills, her head goes down. You know, it, more power. Looting, yeah, <laughs> but more downforce on that kill. Candler serving 17, 16. Good reaction there by Nabor. Pat will try again. She goes long this time. Saved by Gonzaga. Quick reply by Molina. Two straight points by Cesc Molina. Four for her. And they maintain some distance between them and Jerry Tigo. Take a look at the location of the set. This is the set that Cesc Molina likes. Quick yes. and near the antenna, but not too off the net. Coach Kung Fu calls time. Maximize natin itong question na to kasi kailangan natin kumuha ng score dito. Okay, kasi ito yung magdi-dictate. Kailangan natin makaapat na nila eh. Pabalayin mo ng... Pabalayin mo ng tres ka ng baligat. Siya ang nasa gitna ka, di ba? Yes. Pumalo, pumalo ka ng B. Okay. Pabigil, kuha na itong EJ dito ka sa dulo. Pag wala... Sige, sige. Pag wala, tsaka lang mag-adlib. Mag-adlib. Ibig sabihin ng adlib, dulo-dulo na lang. Iwala tayo. Marami mo ng tres, ha? Let's go. Cherry! Five! They cannot seem to get over the hump. They were down seven, though, in this set. If those who uh, just uh, tuned in, they have been able to come close behind by one, but they cannot tie or take over. Coach Shaq has had some answers. So let's see. He, he th Coach Kung Fu saying in that timeout also how crucial this section yes. of the set is. Yes. This 18-16 score. We need a score, they said. So they got one. And there was a moment in the first set, boom, where there was some kind of lull on the side of the signal, HD spikers, and that's where Cherry Tigo took advantage of that. You can't be too complacent, even if you're ahead by six or seven points. We all know that we have to be laser focused right. the entire game. Nice yes, serve. Molina ad libs, goes long. It scratches the line. Smart play coming from Seth Molina. Not going for that usual sharp cross court attack or down the line, but in zone six, that's also a very difficult place, Min, in terms of her attacking. And you know, Seth Molina is part of a group of PVL players who just they don't choose. Yes. Whatever is given to them, they find a way to make something out of it. And Abby Barano has been doing that for many, many years now. I'm talking about the slide, the attack, and the strut. Yes. <laughs> strut is much needed after every running attack. And also the clips. Don't yeah. forget the clips. Yeah, no, no. Ever since. What a serve. Her former teammate, Katindig, getting that one. The ball shoots it to Laure. Katindig was there. Molina on the counter. The ball again. Palike Ea. Ea, mataas ang bola. Scrambling are the HD Spikers, and another one! This time from Gandler from behind! This is why they need Vanny Gandler on the court. Let's take a look at the location of the set. I mean, Vanny Gandler able to go for that broad jump. We all know her back row attack, very lethal in targeting zone six. So they're gonna, she's, it looks like they're going to use her in spurts to protect her, maybe. Much needed. Mm. So the lead continues to be at two. Gandler will chase off the Katindig save. No more. Back to Ea. Mm. Katindig again. <laughs> Molina. Karandan. Back to Ea. And Ea is denied. And that was Acuna blocking the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Set also by Karen Dan. Perfect location on that block. And the set was also two inside. She was forced to go for that cross court attack. That lead now is back to three. And Pauline Gaston is in for the first time. Back to Ea. Oh, she wanted to make a little bit of an adjustment there because of the kind of blocks that have been that she's been getting. 
and she overcooks this one. They're on her for the block. They yeah. know she'll go for a cross, but she tried to go for that sharper cross court attack. Just a little bit overcooked in that execution. Lead back to four. Mm, crucial. Break here for the crossovers, and Alina Vicar and Ada Gallen will come back. Lead off the bench now, but still averaging 10.4, by the way, for Coach Kung Fu. Serving is Alina Vicar. Vicar, safe serve. What happened there, Jamie? Yeah. The receive of the... Of Dawn was... It's a little bit too tight, actually. Okay. Okay. So Jell tried to go for that jump set. Unfortunately, okay. it was too near the net, which caused the double contact. Okay, two straight points. So Coach Shaq will not even gamble. Okay, tayong bumursin ito sa magandang atake. Pero kailangan mas mag-focus tayo sa pasa muna. Okay, pasa, atake. Okay, tapos cover tayo, okay? Ah, uh, everyday naman routine yan. So, pagandahin lang. Bawi doon, ha? Bawi lang. Okay? Advantage tayo sa lahat ng area, Jella. So, pagandahin yung pasa, attack, and then cover lang tayo. Okay? Sige, go, go, go. One point at a time, ha? One point at a time lang. Composure, remember, they have to, you're going to go back to that cream line match, really, that that uh, that they go back to also because they feel that there were a lot of lessons there. They knew they, they had them, but the end game, they just could not finish. Better execution. The score was 11-14, I believe, in the fifth set. Can't be too complacent. Got to work on your end game. Also had a four-point lead in the third set. Yes. Many chances yeah. to end that match, but yes, you did mention a lot of learnings from that loss against the Green Mike Cool Smashers. Take a look at that blocking formation from A. Lauren. No coverage on the side of Signal. So that's three straight points now for Cherry. And Acuna gets one back. 23-21. Acuna, Jelkayuna. I know that Jell will constantly feed her middles. That is her strategy, going for that back quick attack. Bikar to Ea. Nice dig. Dig by Molina to keep it in play. Gandler. Wow. Drops in! <laughs> Two points off the bench for Vanny. Vanny Gandler going for that cross court attack. She's needed in the front row. A lethal weapon for Vanny Gandler. And talk about out of system play. Bump set coming from Jel Kayuna. Not the easiest of angles. It's actually an awkward angle coming from that attack. Set point. Three of them for signal. Pauline gets one. Oh, look at the effort of Makandili to keep that in play. Double. Mm. And a piston play from Cherry. Gaston drawing the defender. And Ea puts it away. She goes back to serve now. You know, Alina Vicar with her combination plays. Kongai using, being that decoy rather in that sequence. Man, this game's good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no whistle yet. They look too excited. Eight seconds after the whistle. Referee Bobby Seltzer, our up referee, reminding everyone. So A has to go through her routine all over again. Two seconds to serve. She's good. And again, she targets Molina on that one. Serve. Block. Gel back to Jove. Did by Bikar. Said Galan cross court. <laughs> wow, that is vintage Aragala. Look straight. Hit left. Angle. Cut shot. Talk about that pivot on her body. That is. Look at that. Oh, look at the position of her hand. Vintage Galang, 24-23, two set points saved. Gandler, soft. Bikar. That is very smart for EJ. And 
We hope everyone is okay. I like a knee to calf collision there by Gonzaga and Laure. There's going to be a challenge from Coach Shaq. I did not see what the oh, net touch. Okay. Net touch. The set of Valina was a little bit too low in that and, sequence. And a, a bit close yeah. to the net, right? Huh? But point goes to Cherry. Because there's a net touch on Jobling Gonzaga. Yeah, because it, there is a net touch, but it wasn't on EJ. Correct? Yeah, it, it was, was a joke. Jobling, right. But it was Coach Shaq who challenged. So we're just clarifying this just so to know why it is an unsuccessful challenge. An unsuccessful challenge by Coach Shaq. So, look at this. We are... This is what we said yes. during the pregame, right? This is expected. Yeah, that's what we said. It's all for you, Sam Corrales. <laughs> <laughs> 24 all. Candler on the air, on the run. One more time. Picard. He said. Galan behind the block. Rebound. Galan again. Oh! <laughs> Ara Galan scores another one. That will be her fourth point, and they take over the lead and set point Cherry. Ara Galan, the veteran here in the front row, maximizing. You see Alina Bikar, a lot of the attacks are coming from the right in on Ara Galan. She knows what to do. She's been in situations like this, and now they are set point. A has been serving well, too. She's been there on the line for a while. And Signal loses the first set via a Cherry Teagle comeback. Team Diesel at it again. Aya Laure, combination play. Alina Bakar running the offense smoothly. Very reliable spikers here on the left pin, EJ Aya, and also timely attacks from Aragala. And great surge by Aya Laura Tucker, towards the end. Right. Remember, Cherry Eagle was down seven, as much as seven, in set number one.
Silvers have learned their lesson. They know that when to attack, Alina Bacar running the offense movie, setting the right person at the right time. Aragala, Abi Marano, Aya Laura, we talked about this earlier, Boom. The timing of the timeout of Coach Kung Fu yes. is very important. Right. But the 1816 timeout was crucial. But the set one stats here on your screens. 12 attack points from Signal and 17 Ooh. on the side of Cherry Tigo. That is a huge gap, especially they were up in the first part of that first set. But take a look at the opponent errors. Minimal five and six, but it's also the timing of the errors, the timing of when things occurred for the Signal HD Spikers. But we did mention this earlier, when it comes to the end game, better execution needs to be faster, I would say, coming from the Signal HD Spikers because Cherry Tigo will do their best. They they have the, this spunk that I've noticed in the past years. And I mean, they did defeat the Cream Michael Smashers in three sets. Coach Kung Fu with two very crucial timeouts. The first one, he said, change your mindset, right? Take action. The second one was at 18-16. He said, we need that right. one point because he knows 19-16 might be a bigger difference, yes. which actually, you know, at the end, 24, when 24-22 uh, is the score. All in all, Cherry Tigo finished with an 8-2 run, by the way. So they finished 8-2 in that first set. So they take set number one. So now, advantage Cherry. Signal will make their... We'll try to make their adjustment here in set two. And also what I noticed with Signal in the first set, there was not a lot of production coming from the middle blockers here in Ria Menezes, Doria, Acuna. Not That's enough. That's a good point. Because in their last match against the Farm Fresh Foxies, Doria was the player of the game. Correct. She had around like eight to nine points. And so far, not enough here. Cess will try to go for a swipe. Nobody touched it. No, Cess Molina. Yeah, there's an actual touch. touch. Yeah, honest in that sequence. Yeah, Dor Doria had the eight points in that previous uh, outing against Farm Fresh. 2-0 for Signal again. I said. Aya will roll it to the other side. What a pullback by A. Laura here to get their first point. 2-1, let's go to San Corrales. Now, after a slow start, Cherry Tiga definitely pressed the gas in that first set, and that does not come as a surprise. As I was talking to A. Laura before the game, and she told me that she is not going to waste any time in this game against the Signal HG Spikers since they are a very tough team to beat. A. said, every game and every set dictates where the Cherry Tiga crossovers are at, and she's not just thinking of her personal performance. Rather, she told me that she has great faith in the team's second stringers. And for Ea, this is another must-win game at mas malayo ang mararating nila if magtulungan sila as a team, lalo na sa dulo, just like the run we saw in set one. Malayo rin ang nararating ng PVL because you can catch it on Pilipinas Live for 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Boomer Jamie. Thank you very much, Sam. 8-2 run, that's the one that Sam's talking about at the end. Ea Laure, five points, averaging 10.5. Mike, Mike, what, what we want to find out here for Signal is how they will respond from a mental standpoint because of that comeback. W will that comeback haunt them right. and eat them up? It's an emotional battle coming here. They look good at right. the, you know, the start of this uh, match. Very polished, yeah. I would say. But it's not about how you start, yeah. but how you end. And this girl did not start. But now, heating up, three points for Vanny Gambler. Good to see her active. The, the power is not, not yes, it's not as, as in, 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 you know, the last couple of conferences. Obviously bothered probably by whatever, you know, physical ailment she's uh, experiencing. Because we all know that she can swing. She can swing the ball. Yep. Too low. EJ. Good block. Still alive. <laughs> Speaking of power, Aragala right on top of that ball. Very efficient from Aragala. And this is not her usual position coming from the right pin. I mean, this is where Alina Bikar is leaning on her veterans to provide on the scoring department. Great effort from Abi Madanya on that pancake save. Yeah. 
And on the flip side, now you're you're looking at Cherry parang reju rejuvenated after a very, very listless start. Yes. <laughs> and this girl has what a sub by Coach uh, Kung Fu. Six points off the bench for EJ Laude, by the way. He yanked out Shia Donador early, puts EJ, and she now has six points. Ever so reliable, EJ Laude. Also not a choosy attacker. Any set will do for her. Very big if you can get contributions from EJ, really, as Cesc Molino with a miss hit there. Be better attacking from the side of the Cherry Tigo for signal. Mm -hmm. But you see that the all starts with a serve. You see the serves of the Cherry Tigo crossovers are much stronger. Oh, too strong, that sails outside. Five ball. Happy to have you with us here on One Sports on the Filipinas Live app and of course on RPTV, Boone Gonzalez, Jamie La Vittoria, Sam Corrales. This is the PVL 2024 All Filipino Conference and the semifinals looming. So, game is really important. No touch according to Bobby Celso, so point for Signal. Lot of wrist action in that sequence, but I like the gutsy plays coming from Alina Bikar, activating the middle blockers in that first attack. Chin sends that to the net. She starts the second set for Coach Shaq, by the way. Playing in for Jobling Gonzaga. Six all. Spark off the bench for today. Candler sent back. Gel to Manessas with the tip. Ara will send it to EJ, who's rejected. Bikar, Aranya was asking for it, and that's why. <laughs> Successful in this running attack. Abby Maranya going for that sharp cross court attack. That's my set run team by Duncan Passan. Lupo Nambayan. On the side of Signal Boom, their first attack is unsuccessful. Jelka Yuna is constantly feeding the ball to Ria Menezes, but the sets are a little bit mm, too low. Good point. Usually it's an immediate point coming from the middles, but it's not working in this match. That's out. Maranyo was there, read it very well, but could not keep it in play. That press in that block coming from Abby Maranyo. Serving is Penny Kendler. Maranyo and Galang with the mismatched shoes, by the way. I love, I love the... Uh... Don't see that every day. You don't see that every day. Here we go again with the shoes. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> You know me, I'm gonna look <laughs> down every now and Very then. Very observant. <laughs> Gel, Vanny, denied! Monster block from the Cherry Deal crossovers who are ahead, eight to seven. Plus, a stigs of sports. 8 7. Jerry Tio taking the lead here in set number two. They come from behind. Set number one. The 
HLDD. The high speed hitters, by the way, are also on a nice run for themselves. Right? Seven and one in the tournament. So they are scouting. Yes. Gotta do your homework. Yeah. A few more games remaining. And they're all important, regardless of who the opponent is. And as we've seen already in the tournament, you cannot relax because you might be beaten by somebody who, right, they, that you don't expect. It's happened already a couple of times here in the tournament. We're going to challenge this one. Ball in, ball out challenge. Called by the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Mm -hmm. So while we do that, PLDT's next opponent will be Cherry and Signal and Creamline. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> That's why Coach Rao is yes. here. Yeah. A Signal HD Spikers after today. As that's in, after today, the Signal HC Spikers have Petrogas, SPLTT, and Capital One. Not an easy one also. While Cherry Tigo, they have this, and then they have the PLDT high-speed hitters. They have Akari, and they have Gallery. So all these teams have tough assignments. No safety. Oh, that's why, Manod uh, Keo, you have to follow this because... We are going down the wire here yes. in the PVL All Filipino Conference. What a dig there by EJ. Aya sending it over. Molina. Mm. And EJ could not get it. Says Molina, that's the set that she likes. That shoot set, touching that block on that attack, touching the hands of Alina Bicar. I like the strategy coming from Jelka Yuna, maximizing on the height of Alina Bicar. EJ almost there for that down the line. 10-8 mm. for Signal. Pauline. Sess with a push. Ara was there to save. Pauline Gaston unable to get that second contact. Sess Molina pulling the defense here of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Adagalan almost there for that attack. Three-point lead. Aya sent back again. This is where Cherry Tigo can't be too lax here in the second set. And Coach Kung Fu calls time. Ganda lang tinak mo ni Sarina dito. Yung dalawa na kay Aya na. Pinipilit mo pa rin dito samantalang... Playable na to. Ang ganda ng takbo ng spiker mo. Iba yung tinitingnan sa tinititigan na. So kailangan pati yung gilid mo nakikita mo. Kung dito ko lang nakatingin sa kanan mo, mana ka? Paano mo makikita yung nasa kaliwa? Hindi ka nga nakatingin. Tara, tara. Wala na makita. Wala na makita. Go, bagi tayo. Cherry! Service na ito na. Iba yung tinitignan sa tinititigan. Coach Kung Fu dropping knowledge. As always, Ivy Hernandez has been indisposed this whole conference, of course, from the knee injury. Right, right. So always in attendance, of course. Back to Sa. That's exactly what Kung Fu was saying. Kung Fu knows what to say. Alina Bikar needs to activate the middle blockers even more because the blocking of Signal is tallying up here on the Lowry sisters. Coach Shaq now staring at the three-point lead. His lead down to three, rather. Good setup. That's a perfect spank. A perfect toss for Alina. Perfect receive as well. This is the strategy and style of Jelka Yuna. This is why she's the number one setter here in the league, activating her middle blockers in first attack. Three time best setter already. EJ misreceiving that one. Good response by Signal. They're in the lead by five now, the biggest in this set. Let's see if Signal can sustain this. Cherry Tigo in a bit of a lull in the second set.
Ara. Good response here by Signal. That was a tough run by Vanny. Katindig was there again. Katindig beaten. Nigel. One hand. Katindig with the one hand set. Would you believe it? Katindig <laughs> giving the ball to Aragalang. Let's take a look at that one hand set to the open. To the open. Perfect. In between that block. Don't see that every day. Whatever it takes to win, huh? to get the point. Yes. Pasas saw the opening. Pancake by Bicar. Galang, free ball to signal. Pasok, sabi kaya kunya. Pero narinig yata. The cherry. Sarandag knows the strategy of Jalkayuna. Easily read on that block, that eight quick attack. This is the in-game adjustments we were talking about in the pre-game. The team that will win today is the team that will make the in-game adjustments early on. Aya continues to serve right. to Cesc Molina almost exclusively. Right. All start to the serve. Aya Laura not giving an easy pickup here on the serves. So Cesc goes in front a little bit in their formation. Para kay Don mapunta yung bola. It's Vanny who gets it this time. Cess. Kill block. This is the momentum coming from the side of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Zach Talandang and EJ Lauri e reading that easily. Cess Molina going for that down the line. But this is the easy pickup that the Cherry Tigo thrives in with the blocking. Seven points for EJ off the bench. So, Aya has been, as we said, even in the first set, been serving so well, targeting. Polin Gaston dancing so well also. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that serve. Look at how he just shifts it to the right in the last drop. Dan and Gandler having a difficult time. High risk, high reward. But that... Contributed to the 5 0 run by Cherry. When they made the run at the end, it was Aya serving also. Cannot take for granted these serves. Aya receiving. Got the dig with a dig. It's a bit too low. Sess with a push from behind. It is Nerva with a pancake. EJ! Still alive. Karandang <laughs> puts it away. We've seen Alina Bikar and Zach Karandang. This tandem is unstoppable. Giving a free ball to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. You don't want to do that in this match. Zach Seven Karandang, points right. for her already. Aranya runs to the court. Fifteen all. Dawn with a perfect pass. Candler dug by Karandang. Baranya sets EJ up. <laughs> Everything clicking for Cherry Tigo as we go into the second technical timeout with them on a killer run. here.
And between the Cherry Tigo crossovers and Signal HD spikers, the Cherry Tigo crossovers are down in this set. Again, just like they were down in the first set, and they are now in the middle, in the midst of a 7-1 run. And the embattled crew right there on your screens. Rose Doria is not playing right now. Uh, Joe Gonzaga also, Cespolina, giving uh, the team a little chat there, a little pep talk. Mentally, see how they respond after, I don't know if they're still thinking of that first set. Oh God. Got to shake it off, it's a new second set here. Sess with a better receive there. Mm, I said I had that. <laughs> then again, they're going down the line. But yes, Aya was there for that down the line. But we need more production coming from Vanny Gander, from the middle blockers. When you look at the signal HD spikers, the receive is there, but mm -hmm. it's the defense of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. And the receive as well. And then you have players off the nice. bench who are just delivering. The difference here with the, Sig with the Cherry Tigo crossovers, they are able to get an immediate side out, and that is what I also notice against Cherry versus Cream Line. Usually mm. Cream Line has a run, but they have an immediate side out, and that's all because of Alina Bicar, knowing who to set at the right time, Zakarandang, Abi Marano. Don will set it up. Gandler goes over the block. This is the elevation, the cross court attack coming from Vanny Gandler. Perfect bump set coming from Don. Five points off the bench. We got great bench players coming in. Laure, EJ Laure. Deep bench. Nine points, and then you have Gandler. Five points. Or also off the bench now. Mylene Pat, the double sub, is in for Coach Kung Fu. Chin pushes it wide. Not going to help their cause. Her second miss serve here. Yeah, the other one was straight to the net. Right. Very untimely, halting their own momentum. Chin. Vanessa's is checked and nobody home. Dawn could not get to it. No, this Boy. is the difference. The middle blockers are having a difficult time getting some points. Coach Shaq will call another timeout. Okay? Now, wala silang masyadong pinapalo na lion. Wala masyado kasi huli na natin, ilang beses na lang. Ngayon, dinadala dito, dapat dumidipensa yun nandito. Okay? Okay. Ha? Trabaho yan. Dalawa lang yan. Dalawa. Jel, tingnan mo kung effective ba yung ginagawa mong play. Mag-isip ka ng iba kung di nagiging effective. Adjust ka, adjust. Sige, sige, sige. Signal! Just like the 18-16 timeout of Coach Kung Fu was crucial in this first set, let's see about this 19-17 timeout of Coach Shaq. The signal HD Spikers need to rise above their own emotions. Coach Shaq is right, telling Jelka Yuna you have to give the right strategy, but her strategy is challenged because the blocking of Cherry Tigo is on point in the second set. Candler gets it back. Delayed by the block again, reverse to Pat. Candler had it, but it hits the, the antenna after the block. So Pat with her first point. And a crucial three-point lead here in set number two, Jamie. I, I mean, there needs to be better production coming from the left pin, Vanny Gandler. But the blocking, the reason why Cherry is able to get that immediate side out is because Abi Marania and Pat are able to get that rebound on that block. Jove Gonzaga is back. Giselle C will set for signal now here. Molina gets a point back. Ten points for Ses Molina. Finally, Pat and Abi Marania missed time. That back row attack coming from Ses Molina. Lack of closure in that sequence. Not out of it yet, they're only down two. Oh, 
Nice serve. Nice pass though by Jen. Wow. And a confusion there. We haven't talked about Jen here, but very stable here in the back row. It has been, yeah. Perfect first ball. The board didn't even have to move, but there was no blocking from Jovelin Gonzaga and Molina in that combination play. When you have that first ball, you are able to elevate your plays. Molina had to adjust, still scores. How about the job of Don Mahalili Katindig here? Doing everything. Long set, service receive. Yeah, 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 agree, everything. Riri Manessis, down two. Ah, it's not going to help them. Timing of the miss serves. We had an earlier one from Drunkoso. And Coach Shaq will call another timeout. This one is second. Timeout signal. Let's go, <laughs> A moment of levity there for uh, Cesc Molina trying to lighten up the mood of a very tense match, a stressful match because they are in, on the verge of going down two sets here. So she had to remind everyone here, hey. Smile, enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy the game. It's tough, it's tough when, you know, when Cherry's playing like this. Bad pass by Molina. Molina Picar targeting the veteran in Cesc Molina. See, she's a bit frustrated. Yeah, she is. And she takes these things very seriously. Cesc, you know, she's such a competitive player. She knows she's being targeted too. What a dig. Nerva was there. The push by Ea. Jove scores. Coming off the bench, Jove Gonzaga, much needed the veteran. And Doria is back there and uh, Gonzaga, but they will move out now for Cayuna and Basas. See, and Jove will move out. Kayuna will do the honors here, down three. This is almost the same position Cherry was in in the first set, but now they get the set point. They have four of them. This is what I was saying earlier. Cherry Tigo is able to get a side out right away. They don't allow their That's good point, partner. Yeah. to have like even just a two point run. That's already a lot for them, meaning, I mean, I said this earlier, they had a 15-day break. Mm -hmm. They were able to rejuvenate fresh legs, mental freshness. Defense has been outstanding. On point, on point. And then they counter, <laughs> and they get the two sets to the lead. Jerry Teagle, Team Diesel, at it again. At a gala. Finishing it off in the second set, Aya Laure, EJ Laure, yeah. unstoppable offense coming from the Cherry Tigo crossovers. And great floor and net defense too. So they're doing it on both ends, talking about the crossovers. Two sets to love lead and looking for that crucial win, number six.
28 minutes for uh, the Cherry Tingo crossovers to get a 25-20 score and second set win after the extended 26-24 first set win. As I said, they're all, both of them looking for win number six. Cherry Tigo and Signal are tied in the team standings at five and two. Second set, tell me what you saw, Jamie La Vittoria. The Cherry Tigo crossovers looking very polished, very sharp. That's all because of their stellar defense coming from the back row. Jen Yerba, Alina Bikar. But talk about the offense. We have Marania going for her classic running slide. The Lowry sisters going for that cross-court attack, off-speed attack. But Galak also, the timing of her attacks is actually boosting their momentum. But on the side of the Signal AG Spikers, they're having a difficult time in terms of execution. Their offense is a bit more uh, easily read on the side of Cherry Tigo, but the disparity of the attacks is not even that far. It's actually the blocks of the Cherry Tigo crossovers, the digging, the receiving. Cherry Tigo actually has more, attack, more errors than the Signal HD Spikers, but I mean, this third set, we see Jovel and Gonzaga now fielded in here. They need that vet. We need, on the side of Signal, an emotional leader, a vocal leader that they could lean to. Because looking at Cherry, well, first, Molina with 11 points, EJ Laure with nine, the off leading Off the scores. bench, yeah, right. off the bench for EJ. But Cherry. Jovel jo uh, jo and Gonzaga only with uh, four points so far. Remember the last two games, total of 39 points right. for Jove. And that just goes to show there's better defense coming from the side of Cherry Tigo. Very reactive. I mean, they're very active in terms of their defense, yes. agile. Well, all is not lost as we know in the game of volleyball. You do not win in two sets. You have to complete the three-set win. Oh. But it all starts here in this crucial third set. Can Jerry Tigo come up First with a killer seven. instinct that Coach Kung Fu is known for? Coach Kung Fu on a roll, not okay. only here, but in the UAP. What is he, 10-1, 10-1 in the right. UAP and 5-2 and <laughs> here. And both these teams, they scrimmage together yeah. every now and then. I wonder if Coach Shaq was present in the, <laughs> Probably in the, last, uh, the last scrimmage. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do his homework also for sure. <laughs> Coach Yanni's not here, by the way because he's taking care of the USC the, girls the right USC now. The USC training, right. They're pre preparing for uh, their big game against FEU as that long exchange ends with an E, uh, make that A a Laure down the line kill. Targeting that corner pocket. This is where Signal needs to make those in-game adjustments. They've had a difficult time in terms of their defensive pattern, especially in the second set. Vanessa gets on. This is what I was saying earlier. Jelka Yuna needs to activate her middle blockers early on. She has one of the best middle blockers here. Take a look at that back quick attack from Rhea Menezes. The spirit has to come back. Because that's that's what I... And even Ces Molina said it in one of the timeouts, right? What happened in that first set, I think it broke their spirits. That's inside. <laughs> But I think Signal is going to call a challenge here. Ball in, ball out on the service from Vanny Gandler. Cherry Tigo up by two sets. The Signal HD Spikers need to recover after that first and second loss. Better execution is needed. The end game on the side of Signal. But Cherry Tigo here on a roll, but let's take a look at that challenge outside. So point does go to Cherry Tigo, halting their own momentum. Yep. We've seen a lot of untimely missed serves from the Signal HD Spikers. It's not helping them in terms of boosting the momentum. Aya up to serve. Gonzaga, yes! <laughs> it's uh, 
3-2 for Signal here as Joe Gonzaga is starting the third set for Signal. Let's go to Sam Corrales. Boom and Jamie, earlier you were talking about leadership. So I want to put the spotlight on Mylene Paat. Now she told me that hindi dapat sila mag-relax dahil hindi basta-bastang opponent ang signal. And she knows that too well, having faced this team many times before. But with a new role off the bench, as we saw in that last set, she said we can still expect the same Mama P energy and leadership. Ang contribution niya ngayon ay pagiging ready palagi para sa teammates niya. Just like how we're witnessing a lot of players from her team rising up to the occasion as well. You can also catch the PBL on the Filipinas Live app for 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Boom and Jamie. Thank you very much. I think there's going to be a challenge here. Uh, Sam Corrales talks about Mylene Pat, the former MVP from Cherry Tigo, who is still part, by the way, one of the few remaining players there, part of that championship team from uh, the Ilocos Who were uh, the remaining teams that these two teams will still battle? I think we have an inconclusive challenge. I think that's what we're hearing right now. All right, here we go. That angle is tough. To tough see, to read, right? Yeah. First of all, look at Doria here, just right on top of that. <laughs> Damn! That elevation. <laughs> the elevation. Look at Coach Kupu, he is not convinced <laughs> with that challenge. Being see? unsuccessful. He wants another angle. <laughs> uh, scratching his head. <laughs> all right, we finally roll on here. Kalang in the middle, denied by Doria. These are the characters, the players that you were talking about, Doria, Gonzaga. Yes. We got a 
to show up here. The veterans here, Alina Bicar with that combination play. Doria needs to be activated more. We need more of her spunk. Her aura is needed for her squad. Kayuna. Oh, that's a bit low. But they still find a way. Mm. Oh, and Signal there got lucky. They dodged the bullet there. Gloria activated here in this third set, reading the offense of Cherry Tigo with that block. And she is in the front row. Jel Kayuna needs to maximize her. She has great middle blockers. You gotta fool the defense of Cherry. EJ. Goes above the blockers. Sess will roll it to the other side. Shaq with the sarcastic smile. <laughs> Both these coaches, they don't like unnecessary giveaways. Not at this level anymore. Not with the way teams are constructed. As Jel Cayula turns it to attacker. A spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayad. Time out, Coach Kung Fu. Ito mo, ang masakit kasi, di ba kami, nagahanap kami dito ng paraan. Nakakuha kami ng putos. Kaya na dyan sa loob, pinawabayaan yung pumuputos yung kabila. Sa paano paraan? Ganyan lang. Nakatanghod lang kayo. Bumabata kayong bola sa atin para kayong mga hapon. Nagbabaw na lang tayo. Paano natin yung bola? Ah, andun na tayo eh. Hindi dahil sa hindi nyo alam, dahil nagpapabaya kayo, yun ang nagiging problema natin. Pabawin nyo lang ulit. Hey, teka lang. Hindi tayo ganyan na nanalo kanina. Hindi yan ibinibigay. May tatrabawa niya na. Let's go! Let's go! Bibitaw, Jerry! Sarap ang nyo na yan. Hindi pa siya tapos eh. I'm talking. Okay. Coach, ah... Serious ang usapan niyo, ano po? Nagsascout siguro yan for FEU. Ay, may, may. Di ba lang, di ba lang. Di ba lang. Di ba lang. Coach Tina and Zier Vasho in a serious conversation, of course. Coach Tina, earlier part of the Akari, of course, team. We won earlier, but also working with FEU, last year's head coach, this year's assistant coach. Right. Helping out Manolo de Julia, preparing for a big game on Saturday in the UAAP. Aragalang. Good timeout again by Coach Kung Fu, producing a point, as you mentioned. He knows what to say at the right time. So don't interrupt him. Sabi niya, no? Teka, di pa ako tapos. Sess, off the rebound. Good rejection there by Sess Molina. Some life with the signal HD spikers at 8-4. Arena Plus. Arena Plus, a stig sa sports. It is 8-4 for the Signal HD Spikers injecting some life in their campaign here. They're down 0-2 in this uh, battle as Ses Molina, we mentioned earlier, well, we'll tell you again about the remaining games. It ain't easy. April 16th against the Petrogas Angels, April 20th against the PLDT High Speed Hitters, and April 27th, Capital One Solar Spikers. So you see the remaining matches are 
Very intense, very heavy. Yep, very important as Maraño pounds the pavement. See the glaring eyes coming from Abby Maraño. <laughs> very scary eyes with that short running attack. Short, then look at how low that ball is. And the snap without wrist. And the, and the what? Strut, of course. <laughs> Let's go! But this is Says what the captain. This is what Cherry Tigo needed. They needed some they did, ate they did, they did, they did. to uplift their spirits. And you know, you said that an ate who's gone through everything also. Because yes. there are you know, you, there, there can be veterans and older teammates and all that. But when you have someone who's you know won in different levels, represented the country, and and, and respected by her peers. But even in the national team, she's still the captain. Right. It's, it's already a given that she will be the leader. And you're right. The young, this new young Cherry Tigo team, that's exactly what they needed. And then, of course, there's Aragalang too. As they're down here, though, 5-9. How much nervous job here. Our, our two liberos, by the way. Getting everything. Katindig and, and Nerva today are engaged in a... A wonderful battle. Scrappy defense coming from the side of Cherry Tigo. We haven't talked about Jen Nierva in a, in a while. She has played so well, we have not seen Buding at all in this game. Very stable. And they're stretching her out right now because I think there's a little bit of an issue for Jen Nierva, so we're, let's hope she's okay. What a set. Perfect. What a set. And that's the Vanny Gandler we know. The power, the elevation, the finish. Jel Cayuna with that jump set, pulling the blocking here. Karandang thinking that the attack will go Ooh. to Rio Menezes. But that's a thing of beauty. Flight. Good receive. Chance to recycle. Aragalang sends it over. Kayuna reverses to Gonzaga, dug by Galang. Menezes could not put it away. Chance again. Kayuna will choose Gonzaga again. <laughs> There's a touch of the net by Karandang, but it sails out anyway. And Signal increases its five point lead. I believe it's biggest here in the third set. Gonzaga switching it up, went earlier for that cross court, then went for that down the line. Long ball is out for Ea, but there's a the referee says. Right. One lines person says it's in, one lines person says it's out, Bobby Celso says it's out, so Coach Kung Fu says, let's challenge. Let's settle this. <laughs> Sixth win is what it's all about. A very crucial one at that to stay in the hunt in this highly competitive PVL All Filipino Conference. We almost keep saying it every conference that we go through, Jamie. No, see. Getting more competitive, more. It really is. Inside. Ooh, very close. A game of millimeters. Hey, <laughs> Lara is like, yep. Yeah. I knew that was what's so up. Yep. I purposely placed it there. Seven serving eleven. Seven eleven. An over received ball. So a chance to counter here. Karandang gets it through. And Coach Kung Fu. Again. Lack of press on that block of the signal HE spikers. Lead is down to three. Fanny on the opposite side. Nice set. Right Ara. Mm. That's out. Yep. It's the right idea going for that long ball attack in that corner pocket of zone one. No dispute here this time. By Coach Kung Fu, although I think he was thinking about challenging. <laughs> <laughs> too, too late, too late, too late, too late, too late. Candler, who has 
played off the bench today and has not sat down since then. <laughs> Katin Ding with the get. Oh, but they are not able to attack. Ea. Wrong foots, everyone. Miss opportunity on the side of the signal. HD spikers. Just goes for the off speed here. But she sells it. She sells it really well, doesn't she? But sometimes when the attack touches that block, it changes the timing of, of the defense on the back row. That's why you go off speed every now and then. Yes. Nobody getting a second ball. Kayuna was too far. And now Jerry knocking on the door, breathing down the decks. And Aya is serving again, and she continues to serve heavy. A lot of hesitation coming from the side of Signal. A lot of frustration at that. What a serve. Good Sharp. Serves. Gonzaga, that's a bit too low from the bump pass on the run, too. So Coach Shaq will definitely call a timeout here. Let's look at the, we mentioned it also earlier, it's not going to be easy for Jerry also. You see PLDT Akari at galleries, PLDT at 7-1, and one, Akari at 4-5. and five. That's why Fifi and, Stilla and company are still here. Scouting. Daming makes a scout. Oh, what a strong power tip there for Cesc Molina. Boy, they needed that. Because that was a 5-0 run, by the way, by, by Cherry Tigo before that, uh, that power tip. Now we have Cesc Molina in the front row. Jelka Yuna needs to maximize her. You can just see in her eyes that she wants this for her squad. Mm. Coverage by Nerva. Blocked by EJ. Nerva was there again. Oh, the dig by Gandler. Gonzaga puts it away! Two straight points after the coach shot timeout. Jobelin Gonzaga is needed here, the veteran. I mean, lefty opposite. We featured her earlier in the pregame. That slim margin between EJ and the antenna. Perks of being a lefty, this is the experience that is needed. And I really saw that spot. Ten points for the Angeles superstar. The move brought to you by Honda Motorcycle, right on top and behind the blockers. See, this is what I was saying with Cherry Tigo. They are able to get that immediate side out. I mean, Alina Bikar. Yes, yes. Because we had Jovelin Gonzaga on the right pin. Mm. Maybe some momentum, but <laughs> Jel Kayuna. Jel looked like she was. There was a lot of frustration yep. in her face in that, in that attack. By the way, that is her fifth point today. Look at her expression here. She, she really wanted it. Look at her. <laughs> she added up the scoring department. We need more attacking from the signal HG spikers. Again, going for her favorite angle. This is what I was talking about, about the side out. Meaning to say that Signal is having a difficult time reading the offense of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. We have to talk about Alina Picard setting the right person at the right time. Double sub. Jazz and Mylene come in. Signal is having a difficult time, boom, getting a run. Sustaining their Sustain. own momentum. Yeah, you're right. They had a five point lead. They had a seven point lead. They had a four point lead in all the different sets. 
Katin Dig has been solid as ever. What a smart play by Kayuna for her sixth point. Jel Kayuna being that offensive setter here for her squad, much needed on the side of Signal. Arena Plus, Astig sa Sports. 16-13 is our score. Signal HD trying to win this third set to extend this to a four. It's very crucial matchup. Welcome to PVL Primetime. Uh, for those watching on One Sports, on the Pilipinas Live app, and on RPTV. 16-13 signal. The two queens, Ea and Sess. Continue to go at it. Going outside. Free ball. A touch. That touch from Abu Marano. Mm. The Gandler's getting her swing back here in this uh, in this game. This is the strongest I've seen her in a while. Again, we when we say that again. But in context to what we said, that we've seen her really improve the last couple of conferences in terms of her strength. Mm. Speaking of strength, Aileen Bach with a strong finish there for her third point. Last minute four going for that combination play. Aileen Bach with that shoot set. Abi Marano being that decoy. Both of them part of that 2021 championship team. Gel goes for the second ball, put away, sent back. Gandler could not get it over the net. Gandler trying to go for that off-speed attack. A little bit unstable in that sequence. 15, 7, 17. Coach A to the left of your screens was the coach of that champion yes. team. That's right. And actually started this conference, right? That's the, oh, was it last conference? I'm confused. Well, last conference. I think last conference. Last conference started. That you're right. Last conference started as the coach, and then Coach Kung Fu eventually took over. Sent back again. Aya recoils, gets it back after <laughs> standing up. Down on the ground. She is able to recoil. You see there, the bottom of the screen. And she puts it away from the kill. Right in between Molina and Katindig. I efficiency coming from Aya Laure. Here the they, queen. Here they come again, Jamie. Creeping in. Yep, creeping in and tying at 17 all. Katindig misjudging that serve. And this is a pattern we've seen from the Signal HD Spikers. Once Cherry Tigo gets the momentum, I mean, this is where they should not falter. This is where they got to play their best. Because when Cherry Tigo has the momentum, they are unstoppable. What a serve by EJ. Another one. Toria flying in. So much umph, I would say, in that A-quick attack. I haven't seen that in a while. And unfortunately, she goes up to serve, meaning to say that Jalkyuna was unable to maximize her. She's very much 
needed for the offense. And by the way, you get an attack like that, the pass has to be really good. Right. And Don sent it perfectly. Pinawian! The exchange of points. Uh, by the MBs. <laughs> <laughs> right. But see the strategy of Jasmine Nabor. First attack with that B quick attack on Abby. <laughs> Too doesn't good. Get, it doesn't get old, does it? Good. Yeah, Too right? good. Seth Robles now coming in to serve. Joe with the first ball. Really. Ball is live. Mylene, strong side. Dog by Jove. Says from behind. The board was there. Robles will set Mylene again. Done by Katindig. Fast low. set, fast set, too low. Mylene will push. Oh! <laughs> Jerry Tigo takes the lead. 19 18. How did that happen, Jamie? The momentum here. The offense of Mylene Pad is working in their favor. I'm out, Coach Chad. What do you need to do? Because if you have such a end game, you need to focus on the focus. Okay, don't let us go. Just let us go. Then we'll get the ball and we'll get the ball. Okay? Okay, go, go, go. Let's go. An embattled Signal HD Spikers right now had a five-point lead. A 6-1 run is what we are in the middle of right now for the Cherry Deagle crossovers, and that is their very first lead of the third set. Did see this in the past sets as well, Boom. Signal having a difficult time closing it out, sustaining their own momentum, whereas Cherry Tigo has the advantage on all cylinders, whether it's from the left, the middle, or the right. Lethal weapons, anyone you put on the court can provide. Mm -hmm. And you see Coach Kung Fu fielding in Cesaro Bless. Now Nabor's running the offense. Right. Good first ball there. Blocking and defending of Cherry Tigo has been on point. Kung Fu not liking what happened there, but it's sent back. Kayuna will try again. Gandler. Confusion on the other end, but Pilot uh, Pat rather saves the broken play. Terry Tigo very reactive, very quick in adjusting. Right. They just know what to do. They look at their teammate, they know their roles, they accepted their job. Five points for her off the bench. Just Robles only showing up now, but some crucial great serving. And no, I haven't jinxed it yet. <laughs> Candler is, is blocked. Seth sends it over. Free ball again. No, the free ball goes to Meneses. Hey, Laura, with that overpass coming from her squad, but yeah, Bria Menez, Menezes, rather. Early gift here. Need more of that, more production from the middle blockers. And no blocking there on the side of Cherry Tigo. Down one. And down two sets. Our signal. That's it. Maria Laura targets the outside hand of Joe Gonzaga to score her 15th point of the match. Aya Laure, as we mentioned, averaging 10.4, but slowly you see the production going up in the, these final few games. And also boom. Come on, you can say it, mothering. <laughs> mothering. You can say it. Mother okay. loading. <laughs> <laughs> Mother loading. <laughs> yes, you were about to say, sorry. The serves of the cherry of signal mm. are a bit too easy. That is why Cherry is able to get the perfect pass. First ball. Yeah, you're right. Dawn was there. Pile up again. Six. What a set. That's Jen Nerva setting it this time. Kayuna will go to Gandler. Gandler dug by Laure. Back to the other Laure overcooks this. 
Kea takes her time to get up. The Cherry Tico fans hold their collective breath for, for a second there. Same as mine. <laughs> yeah, obviously we don't like uh, seeing players getting hurt. And everybody's okay, including Vanny Gandler serving. 2021, good reaction by Jell. Chance for Cherry again, Mingisi Ea. Ayuna with the up. The joust won by Molina with one hand, able to push it to the other side. This is the fighting spirit that's needed on the side of the Signal HD Spikers. This is, they needed that, that. Fight, They needed this, that joust. One hand, the left hand. Good pass. Galan. Coverage there. Nerva looks at Ea. Ea looks to attack. Isa pa daw, sabi, pero binigay kay Galang sa kabila. Kayuna. Back set, Gonzaga. Unable to put it away, so Nerva able to set to Galang. And Kayuna could not keep it in play. Cherry Tigo ahead again, 22-21. I want to highlight the digging, the defense on the side of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. They are not letting any ball drop. The coverage is perfection coming from Jen Yerba. I mean, the Signal HD Sparkers having a difficult time in terms of their defense. Here's more trouble for them. A allowed is serving. Unfortunate, but... Sorry to all the A allowed it. I'll apologize. <laughs> But she has been serving so well. That is her first miss serve. First. Go Fernandez. Now. Coming in from the FEU program, of course. And then going to F2 for a couple of months. And now here at Signal, serving, and it goes out, and that is an expensive error. Untimely error coming from... That's her role, serving specialist. 23, yeah, 22. Sakarandang now. Jerry Tigo, I had two sets to love and 23 22. Gonzaga. Is there a check? Bobby Celso says no. Coach Jack says challenge. Why not? You need it. Much needed. Much needed because if they lose this point, this will be match point. So you challenge anyway. Might as well, juggling Gonzaga going for that sharp cross court attack, but. Which she was already signaling from the start that she saw a check. So they're still alive here. 23 all. Crunch time in the third. Crucial serve. Oh, and a touch. Unfortunate off the overpass by A. Laure Doria. That is just unfortunate and then, uh, for your signal. Match point for Cherry Tigo. They have to 
Make sure the floor is dry first here now. Wow, that, that's not the way anybody drew, drew that play. Sess fires one. Still alive as we go to an extension here in the third. Sess Molina going for that cross court attack. A bump set coming from Jelka Yuna, towering over that block of the Cherry Tiger crossovers. But now she's in the back row, boom, she's serving. Vanny Gandler now in the front row. Good point. EJ hops. Back to Aya. Alina will go to the run and gun. Good reaction by Doria with a footy. Open. Malap, it's a net. And EJ puts it away with that sharp cross. And to think EJ didn't even start in this match. He came off the bench. This is the spark plug, the timely. 13 points. Look at that angle. Right in front of Dawn, too. It takes guts to do that. Right, right. Second match point for Cherry Teagle. Nervous moments. Candler. Chance for Cherry Teagle to go for it here. Ea puts it away. And a straight sets win for the Cherry Teagle crossovers. in the clutch. I mean, talk about the offense coming from the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Teamwork, I would say, from the defense to the setting to the offense, fielding and Take a look, Miley Pad here on your screens. Yeah, from the bench, people right. contributing. Pad, EJ Laura, Princess Robles serving. Jasmine Labor had her so moments. Good. So the bench delivering for Cherry Tigo. And a tough, tough loss to swallow for the Signal HD Spikers, which really started in that first set right. when they had that seven-point lead. They seem to have lost their spirit when that uh, when Cherry Tigo snatched that set away from them at the end. All right, we'll take a break, and we will be back to wrap this baby up. Inside the Phil Sports Arena, that is the confirmation of this, believe it or not, three set win, but three very tough sets. A Cherry Tigo, all of them, really basically them coming from behind to win in this match. 26 24, 25 20, and 26 24 after 41 minutes in the third set. So let's have Sam Corrales introduce us to our player of the match. Congratulations to the Cherry Tigo crossovers on this huge straight set win against the Signal HD Spikers. Our best player of the game is Aya the Slaya, coming up big with 16 points, 7 digs, and 13 receptions. Una una, Aya, grabe naman yung mga last moments na yon. Ano yung mga tumatak ba sa isip mo? Ano yung emotions mo as the clutch queen today? Sabi nga kasi sa amin ni coach kung lahat ng panalo pinagtatrabahuan. Kaya yun lang yung lagi naming tinatatak 
sa isip namin, lalo na nung latter part ng third set. Siyempre, sa start, medyo slow yung naging start uh, ng team, lalong-lalo na sa set one. Pero eventually, you picked up the pace, never looked back na saan nang galing ang firepower na yun. Siyempre, nagsimula talaga yun sa mga coaches namin. Nire-remind nila kami kung ano yung mga pwede namin gawin para uh, malabas namin yung pinagtitrainingan namin. Nagnanod din yung teammates mo. So I want to bring them into the conversation. Sabi mo sa akin kanina, malayo yung mararating ng team if magsama-sama, lalo na sa endgame. Confirm? Correct naman daw, di ba? So, ano yung masasabi ninyo sa team effort ninyo? Hanggang dito sa, you know, post-game interview, magkakasama pa rin kayong lahat. What can you say about your teamwork today? Uh, Siyempre, wala namang ano na iba pang recipe dyan, kundi teamwork talaga. Mm -hmm. Yun lang. <laughs> All for Cherry. Yes, all for Cherry. Aya, meron ka bang gustong batiin dito sa venue and those watching at home? Of course, unang-una yung family, yeah, yung mga sumusuporta sa Cherry din. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Dumatami na po kayo, kaya nakakataba at nakakamotivate talaga. Thank you so much. Um, sa fans din, syempre, ng signal, salamat din. At nakakamotivate din po kayo, kung alam niya lang. Sa lahat ng mga nanonood ngayong araw na to, maraming salamat. Get well soon, Papa Nelson Karandang. Get well soon, Papa Nelson Karandang. And hello po kay Boss Romel, Ma'am Ada, Sidin Family. Hello po sa inyong lahat. And there you have it, Aya Laura, our best player of the game. You can catch her more on the fan stream on Filipinas Live right after this. Back to you, Boom and Jamie. Thank you very much, Sam and Aya Laura and the gang. Uh, really rejoicing here as they have been on a roll and they continue to stay hot in the PGL 2024 All Filipino Conference. The Cherry Tigo crossovers, I mean, they're the definition of teamwork. Everything, each point was of importance, each point was worked hard for. They got all the digs, they got all the receptions, they got all the attacks that turned into points. But we also didn't talk too much about Jen Nierva, but she had stellar defense in the back row, just doing her job, accepting her role. We saw Mylene Pad come in and off the bench, had timely attacks, but I mean, coming from the Signal HG Spikers, they got to go back to the drawing board. They need to remove that uh, mental state that they have in ex executing each set perfectly. Yeah, and they were saying, right, but to Sam, they felt like they were on a roll already. They, they were peaking at the right time, but they go up against a team that also is peaking right. at the perfect time after a big loss in uh, the season. They have completely recovered, regained their confidence. And the Cherry Tigo move up to six and two. And that means they tie Petrogas and Creamline right there. Right behind Chocomucho and PLDP. These are the numbers after the three set win. With attacks here, 42 attacks on the side of the Signal HD Spikers, whereas the Cherry Tigo crossovers had eight more attacks with 50, even blocks with seven, four aces on the side of Signal, and five on the side of Cherry Tigo. Better production on the side of Cherry Tigo in terms of defense, offense, and also setting. Alina Picard. We also saw a glimpse of Jasmine Nabor in the third set, which goes to show that their styles of setting is working. Their system, their system under Coach Kung Fu mm -hmm. is working in their favor, which is attacking with the middles, activating them early on. And you have your wings here. You have Mylene Fad, you have the Lowry sisters who were completely unstoppable, both especially with EJ, who was not even starting in the first set, came yeah. off the bench. But this is looking good for the Cherry Tigo crossovers, peaking at the right time. 16 for Ea, 13 for EJ, 11 for Aragalang. Then you have contributions from Karandang at 8, Paat at 5 off the bench. Maranio, by the way, but also 6. And again, hats off to Jen Nierva. A complete team effort by the crossovers. This is the schedule here at Hill Sports Arena. On Saturday, Farm Fresh and Galleries open up the Saturday Affair. Strong group and Choco Mucho. Try a strong group. will try its best to derail another hot team in Choco Mucho. And next led Chameleons will go up against the Cream Line Cool Smashers who are looking to bounce back here at the uh, wind-up of uh, this semifinal chase. 
in our BBL All Filipino Conference. That will that will do it for us today. Akari winning against Capital One in our first game, and Cherry Tigo pulling off a straight sets hard-earned victory against the Signal HD Spikers in the second. For Sam Corrales, Jamie La Vitoria, I'm Boom Gonzalez. We continue our quest to look for a new champion for the 2024 Premier Volleyball League All Filipino Conference here in the heart of volleyball.